Next at 6, Election Day is one year away. Tonight, Democrat Governor candidate Mary Burke is not talking specifics about how she'd run Wisconsin. But Burke tells political reporter Jessica Arp she'd bring a different style of leadership. I can tell you that I'm pretty analytical. Mary Burke prides herself on making informed decisions. The former Trek executive, secretary of the Department of Commerce, and Madison School Board member says those decision-making and listening skills are exactly why voters should choose her to be governor in 12 months. Get all the options on the table, make sure people have the voice that you're considering those and that you evaluate them based on, on research and what people say and that you pick the best options regardless of whether they're Democratic or Republican options. Burke won't jump into political debates just yet, earlier promising to make no promises in the campaign. So what should people base their decision on? I think it's absolutely critical and what I hear from people is they do want to make sure that they, they know where people stand on the issues, that the type of values that are important to you and the type of governor you'd be and over the next year I will certainly do that. What kind of plans and ideas do you have for when yeah. you would become governor? And Wisconsin is 48th in the country in terms of new businesses started so we have to make sure we have a climate that's encouraging people to take that risk and get started and to help them do that by making sure capital is more accessible and affordable making sure that we're able to help open doors to maybe new customers or new markets and also making sure that there aren't the regulatory hurdles that stand in the way of doing that. All of this sounds sort of familiar we hear the same thing from Governor Walker talking about wanting to create new businesses, the regulatory environment. What would you do differently than what he's doing now? While some of the things may be good that are being done, they're not enough to move the needle and the focus needs to be on jobs and I do think that we've taken that focus off of what is most important. So practically do you have plans or specific ideas that you want that you would put in place to do that? Well as I said about new businesses started, small businesses growing, I think also we want to make sure we're investing in in the strengths of Wisconsin and we have so many to make sure we're as competitive as possible. Burke won't say how important union endorsements are to her candidacy. So far none have jumped on board her campaign. She also won't take a position on the casino proposed for Kenosha. Well, I think first and foremost, we should have um, looked at whether it would create jobs, more jobs overall. You know, if this is just an issue about trading jobs in Milwaukee for jobs in, in Kenosha, that's not really the best tack. So at this point, you wouldn't say whether or not you'd support this? I would have to see m more information than has been avail made available publicly. Now, the Republican Party of Wisconsin has attacked Burke's vote to raise taxes in the last school board budget, although Burke voted against the district's final budget that included a tax increase last night. They call her candidacy a return to the failed policies of the Doyle administration.